As you already know, the benefits of turf aeration on golf courses are both well documented and undisputed. In short, by aerating, you're setting yourself up for healthier, more resilient turf. That's why golf courses do it every year, or sometimes several times a year. What's often overlooked, however, is the fact that the equipment you're using, specifically the tines on your aerifier, has a huge impact on the effectiveness of your aeration program. So today, we're going to talk about three big distinctions when it comes to tines. Now, there's a vast array of tines available, but don't be overwhelmed. Obviously, your choice is going to be driven by your specific goals and budget, but you can use these general rules of thumb to help guide you from there. Now, I say go as deep as you can. With deep tine aerification, you simply get more of what you want deeper in the soil. That means you can lengthen your irrigation intervals, your fertilizer lasts longer, and more oxygen is introduced into the soil. Just be extra sure your irrigation lines and wires are deeper than your aerating. And really, there are lots of options, so you will find the perfect length of time to meet your needs. In this instance, it's really all about what you're trying to achieve. For example, if you want to address thatch issues, you need a coring time which actually removes organic matter. Coring tines are also used to bring soil to the surface for top dressing, and they're often used successfully in conjunction with soil amendment. I should also mention here that there's another consideration to be made in terms of types of coring tines. If you ask around, you'll find this is largely a matter of taste. However, in general, open spoon tines are preferable when you're slicing or overseeding, since compared to hollow tines, we bring up more soil to act as top dressing. Meanwhile, some folks like hollow tines because they tend to make cleaner, neater holes. Now, solid tines. They won't help with the issues I've just mentioned. They do have some advantages. They're less disruptive in terms of play. There's obviously less cleanup. And they still do the trick in terms of promoting gas exchange and optimizing your water and fertilizer programs. Like the other options we've discussed, both big and small diameter tines have their advantages. Larger tines are great at reducing compaction at the surface and stimulating root and shoot density. Ironically, they're also easier to fill with sand. Obviously, that means smaller tine holes are tougher to fill with sand, however, they also heal faster and they're less disruptive in terms of play. For example, pencil tines, so-called for obvious reasons, are often used as a maintenance treatment in between big, annual aerifications where large soil cores are removed. They offer all the benefits of small and solid tines mentioned previously. Plus, when followed by a roller on putting greens, for example, it's difficult to tell that any treatment was performed at all. Like I said before, you already know aerating is important when it comes to maintaining healthy turf. Now, the trick is just dialing in your process to optimize your result. 